Hey everybody, I'm so excited you are joining me this evening. Um, so this is my first time having a guest, so my setup is a little different, y'all, so bear with me. Let's see, as always, if you are joining us live, give me a wave. If you, I mean, I'm sorry, give me a thumbs up. If you're joining the replay, I want you to give me a wave. So um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm so excited tonight. Um, I am getting my, I'm, I'm making sure I got my stuff in order. All right, guys. So making sure, can you see us really good? So make sure you let me know um, that you're here so that I can, so I can shout you out. So make sure you give me a shout out. Tell me your name. Tell me who you are. Tell me, hey, Tanya. Thanks for joining hey, us. Thanks for joining us. I, I'm so excited tonight, guys. We are going to be talking about um, how to really catch your breath and stay in your flow. So this is going to be an exciting conversation. Again, if you're just joining us, make sure you uh, comment below so I can shout you out um, and I can say hi to you. <coughs> So, hey, Missy, thanks for joining us, sis. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're watching this live, make sure you you can go to your page and start a watch party so other people can join from your page. So they may not be a, a friend of mine. Hey, Nisha, um, they may not be a friend of mine, but they may be a friend of yours and you want them to get this information and make sure that you do a watch party on your page. All you got to do is click a button, hit watch party, and they can join the conversation that way. So let's make this thing happen. Hey, Tab. It's so good to see you. Um, and hey, Pam, good to see you. All right, guys, y'all know how we do. Um, so here's how this is going down. I am super excited. Who do we have? How many folks? Are we got with us? what? Sixteen people so far. Sixteen. Sixteen. Folks. Okay. Sixteen good folks stuff. so far. Hi, everybody. Um, Hey, this is my guest, Michael Bell. I'm going to be introducing him in a sec. Hey, hey, Sandy. Good to connect with you. All right, let's do it. So you guys know every week that I'm coming to you. Um, if you're new to, fate, it's to to Flow with Monica, my name is Monica Spate, and I am your certified coach, your partner in flow, and my, all, my passion, my desire is to help you master your mind so that, with, using biblical strategy so that you can maximize your life and really flow in your God-designed purpose, like really impact the world with what God has called you to do in this earth. And we're not doing it just by, you know, haphazard. We're not doing it because people, you know, tell us we should or we shouldn't, but we're really connecting with who God has called us to be and doing what he's called us to do and flowing in it. Mm -hmm. We're flowing while we're flawed. We're flowing while we're struggling. We just continually flow no matter what's happening. And so that's what we're doing tonight. So I'm going to hop into it. So tonight, I have a special guest. I'm really excited about this. I have Michael Bell. Me. Him, who is the pastor of Radiant Church. Radiant Nation, holla. If you're, if you're part of Radiant Nation, comment in the, um, what is this thing called? Comment, comment, comment in, in the, the comments. comments. <laughs> yep, that would be what it is. Yes. Comment in the comments and hashtag Radiant Nation. If you're part of Radiant Church, Radiant Nation, hashtag Radiant Nation. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Keasia. Oh, I'm so happy to see so many hey people guys. on tonight. So here's here's the deal. Um, Pastor Mike, I'm going to do a quick intro, but I want to just really hop into this conversation and really unpack uh, this series that he's been doing called Catch Your Breath. Mm -hmm. And I am, it's, 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 it's fire, y'all. It's just, mm -hmm. it's good. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a quick intro of Pastor Mike, but I'm going to really let him talk more about um, himself and what this series is about and how it connects with what we're doing in the Flow Tribe and the work that I do with helping people really find their flow. Um, and Pastor Mike, well, I said he was a pastor. He's a pastor of Radiant Church, Radiant sure. Nation in mm -hmm. Greenwood, Delaware. But he's also, I th think I'm saying this right, a behavior health specialist. Is that yes. right? Mm -hmm. A behavior health specialist. He's a budding author. I don't think I'm supposed to say that, but I'm saying it anyway because I know it. He's also a budding author, and he's an amazing leader. He's a father. He's a husband, and he has some wisdom that really somebody his age really shouldn't have. Like, he's too young to know what he knows, and I know it's because of God's work in his life um, that he is so wise and so insightful, and I can tell you because it's blessed my life. I also am um, not just saying this thing because, y'all, he is my brother as well. It just so happened to be. 
But if he wasn't my brother, I'd still have him on because he's just phenomenal. Hey, Jackie. Hey, my girl. It's the Flow Tribe. My daughter. There she Who's is. Who's that? Your daughter. Marlisha. Radiant Nation. Radiant wow. Nation. All right. So here's the deal. Pastor Mike. Mm -hmm. Um I shared you a little bit about Pastor Mike. One of the things I do want to say before I move on is that, you know, with the Flow Tribe, with the work that I do, the work that we, the people who are part of this tribe, what we care about is using biblical strategies to flow in our purpose. So we're really looking at what God's, God's strategies are because we feel like they're time tested and why not use them? His principles are perfect. Um, but Pastor Mike is also skilled, not just in teaching the word of God, but living it out in his life so that he's actually flowing in what God has called him to do. And I wanted us to have a real example of what it is to have to really flow in your life, catch your breath when things are getting really rough. What does it actually look like? Not just the training and the teaching. What does it actually look like? So Pastor Mike, I'm yes. so excited. Yeah. Um, Let's do it. We, um, I had the, the pleasure of joining a couple of sessions or uh, services on a Sunday where we were talking about, um, you were teaching on catch your breath. What I want to know is a couple of things. One, what caused, what made you want to do the series, right? Was it something personal? Tell me what made you want to do the series. And I also want to know um, what is it that you are hoping people kind of understand through this Catch Your Breath series? And how does it impact like our everyday life? Sure. I'm going to let you have that. Sure. Uh, so here we are. The series itself was birth while we were actually in another series. Um, so as we near the end of 2019, uh, we were ministering in a series, we called it a mini series because my series are sometimes known to be months long. And um, those <coughs> that are part of Radiant Nation, they know that. Um, but we were in another series and that series was called Take It Easy. Um, and it really was a challenge from the Holy Spirit um, to deal with a lot of religious ways we perceive our purpose, mm. the religious ways we perceive God's instruction in our life, um, how it comes with so much mandate and mm. comes with so much uh, expectation and comes with so much, quite frankly, pressure. Mm. And uh, so as I looked at the different responsibilities that I have in my life, and I live a very uh, full life, I'll call it, a very full life. I was about to say busy, but I'm I'm changing the way I live and the way I work. And so my vernacular, my, my terminology, the way I speak is changing. And it has to, because some words have so much connotation with it that you keep saying that you actually feed yourself misunderstandings. And so I'm no longer doing that. So one of the things I had to do while I was teaching this one series, Take It Easy, is I was speaking and, and, and moving. And by inspiration, the Holy said, all of us just need to catch our breath. Mm. And as I said that, I was like, we need to spend time in that. So we went on and finished what I called the mini series of Take It Easy. And what happened was I began to study uh, the catch your breath idea, the catch your breath inspiration I received. I began to study, pray about it. And I thought that I was actually going to be coming and ministering this thing as we enter the new year, catch your breath. And I just felt like I was coming to minister to Radiant Church and all the fine folks that attend and and, but as I began to study it, I realized how personal mm. the message was. I realized that he said, all of us need to, uh, leaders, spiritual or otherwise, we need to catch our breath. And it became very personal. And uh, so one of the things that I did, was I spoke with the elders in my church, I spoke with my wife who pastors with me, holla at you, Michelle, how you doing, baby? And um, Michelle and I were talking and I said, um, I'm going to counsel the rest of our services for the remainder of 2019. We're going to finish the uh, Take It Easy series. And it was a challenge because I had to talk to the elders. I was like, is this God? I mean, is this right, right, the Holy right, Spirit? Right, I'm right. like, we're going to we're gonna do it. And so I spoke with the elders and they were like, this is God, Pastor. Now, I didn't know they were just saying yeah. it's God because they didn't want to come to church. Or what? <laughs> but um, they said, this is God. So they said that and we had breakfast and we're talking about it. And um, he said, yeah. He said, I want you to catch your breath. Now, when I first heard it, I've heard it in the sense of catch your breath. You're tired. You have a lot going on. You need to catch your breath. But oh man, as mm. I begin to study it and talk to the father, he says, no, no. Catch your breath is saying, yes, you do need to stop and breathe correctly. Mm. But I want you to breathe correctly from now on. Oh, let's stop right there. Yeah. yeah. That changed everything. Say la. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So it's not just about Oh, I'm so busy, 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 mm -hmm. busy. 
that I need to slow down and stop. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is, if you're doing that and you're busy, 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 and mm -hmm. you're getting overwhelmed, you're out of grace anyway, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yep. But he's also saying that I want you to breathe correctly from now on. Sure. In other words, he needs you to flow, y'all. Yeah. What he's saying is I need you to maintain this mm -hmm. constant flow sure. so that you can actually accomplish what mm -hmm. it is I'm calling you to without burning out and without yeah. tiring out. It's no good to uh, labor hard uh, during the journey but arrive to the destination exhausted. Oh! Is if, if the pleasure is not just the Whoa. destination, it's the journey as well, then both need to be stewarded properly. Hold on. Let me just... just. We might have to do a part two, y'all. I'm ready. I'm down for it. Okay, okay. Because we got to unpack this thing. We, we really do. Okay, so you're saying it's not just about getting to the destination because mm -hmm. we, we focus a lot on y'all tell me when i get there when i get yeah. there tell yeah. me in the comments if you're one of those people and be honest because you know how we yeah do, man we i was honest. there i've been there we Mike, just yeah. you're just working 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 mm -hmm. but you're you want to get to the destination but you're, if you're not concerned about how you get to the destination mm -hmm. whether you're tired comment below you know what been there done that where you've been moving 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 sure. moving and then when you get there you can't really enjoy it we hold up the trophy of arrival we hold up the trophy of I've made it. I've got the car. Uh, my church has reached a certain membership number. I've, uh, 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 I've get, I'm getting public accolades, whatever trophy that many of us are shooting for and or aiming for. I got the certain job. Um, I'm the leader here. I'm in a position there. And, but but the, the journey has so much value and we're arriving to places. And the Lord spoke to me very clearly. He says, I am not passing out trophies for things I did not ask you to do. Neither am I giving you trophies for how you did it, mm. because the glory is for me. Mm. I, I, you are a part of this miracle, mm. and I, I care about you, Michael, more than I do the work. I can't afford to lose you for my work. You are my work. Come and on. when I, when I, when I heard this, it, it really brought some revitalization to my relationship with him. Because many times we'll even change the way we relate to the Father, and He becomes God only. Okay, say some more about that. God, okay. He becomes he, God. Only. Well, He becomes a person of, that we have to please. He becomes a person uh. that we have to meet, and we do. We we want to please the Father. We want to please God. We want to honor God. We want to worship God. Sometimes we want to have the fear of God, and then we'll become afraid of God. Of God. And He really said to me, "Catch your breath." He says, "My." Presence is not a location only, Michael. It's a gift. You don't come here to get punished. My presence is not a location only. No. It's a gift. You know what's funny? Yeah. So Sunday I had the pleasure of being at Radiant and sharing the word, and that's what mm -hmm. I talked about. When wow. I talked about I haven't in, even looked at in, the he, in yeah. Hebrews where he talks about you know, I want you to come to my throne with confidence mm -hmm. and without fear yeah. to find grace, which means what you need when you need it. Right. Unmerited favor, but also mercy, mm -hmm. which means your failures can come to my throne they can come. in yeah. the time of need. Uh, yeah. And he was showing that if you can enter into the rest of what I've already done, you don't have to work to try to do something that's already been done. Monica, some things are settled. And one of the things that's settled is my relationship with him. The mm. relationship is growing and budded, but it did not start with my performance. Mm. The relationship did not start with, nor is it measured by how... Uh, uh, fruitful I am I, I use fruit to measure the obedience the flow fruit is used to measure how well I'm flowing but if I'm not flowing well the relationship's not at risk he settled the relationship so if I ever needed to catch my breath if I ever needed to return to the place to not just breathe again but catch inspiration to hear him again and to hear him clearly, man, Monica, he's still speaking. And here's the good thing about the evolving voice of God, if you will, or should I say unfolding? He speaks to us at times, but as we go in time, he speaks to us in time. He comes from where he is in eternity and he speaks to us in a time, in a season. But even as we mm, frequent his presence, if you mm -hmm, will, mm -hmm. uh, through the practices that we have in our faith, uh, prayer, fellowship with other people, uh, corporate church services, he, he, he now he has an unfold. Uh, revelation. He he'll say more than he said the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. His, his word is able to catch you up, if you will. Oh, I love it because I'm like I'm coming with this mindset of you know, Lord, I'm sorry. 
um, I'm, I'm looking at things that things are not quite well. And he's like, I'm your father. Yes. I'm not just, I'm your father, God. I'm God, your father. And so it really has released and, and relieved me from the angst. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you can actually rest while you're working. Mm. You're not working and, and working yourself up into a sweat. Can't do it. But you're working yeah. in rest. Sure. You're working while you're still. You can live a full life and not be exhausted. Hold on, let's say that again. Somebody type that in the comments. You can live a full, a full life, life and not be exhausted. Mm. In other words, John 10.10, 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I come, right, that you may have life and have it more abundantly to the full till it overflows, which means even though the enemy is on our back and he's, he's constantly attacking what God is trying to do in us, we can still live full and not be exhausted even yeah. by the attacks that we're getting Absolutely. and the opposition that we're mm -hmm. getting to our purpose. Sure. Yeah, I'm just saying, y'all, y'all, which means we can be under heavy, what we call warfare, mm -hmm. heavy opposition mm -hmm. or heavy resistance, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to tire us out. Sure, and we don't have to misinterpret the battle. Okay, come, say some yeah, more about that, that. That's that's wonderful um, because we make it so much about us. We we really do, um, and and at times that the opposition is based upon how well I've done or haven't done. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes we're confusing seasons. And you will have, like, you know, catching your breath, being in Christ um, does not uh, excuse or uh, keep us from hard seasons and, and tough times. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we need them. I'm, I'm starting to be thankful for the things that are out of my control I, because that's a good thing. It gives me time to catch my breath. And catching my breath is not only to be refreshed, but, but, but friends... It's to be in a place to receive inspiration. Mm. See, catch your breath also comes with this process of inhaling and exhaling. Okay. And so we're living inspired now. So here's what inhaling and exhaling means with this relationship with the father is he's saying, I am oftentimes releasing. I'm exhaling. And, and, and my role in your life is to exhale my completed will into you. And your job is to receive. Mm. And so this this process of him exhaling and me being in the position and proper posture to simply receive. And as I receive in a pure sense, there is no room for fleshly misinterpretations. You, That's true. When, when, when you're postured right, when we, you see, religion, Monica, has really, re, the religious spirit, and, and I don't mean religion as if we don't have routines and things to do with our faith. I'm talking about we've married routines so much that our lives are so rigid and we're doing what we believe to be God's will, tired and exhausted. And the father said, I never intended yeah. my vision to exhaust you. Vision from God actually inspires. It fuels. When God speaks, Habakkuk uh, went to the presence of God. He says, I am upset with the fact that, that heathen nations are getting the advantage of God's people. God's people are no longer honoring your law or honoring your mind. Uh, when we hear the word law uh, with New Testament uh, uh, context now, we understand that's the mind of God, the expectation of God, its principles. Uh, know this, that you are living by a principle, whether intentional or unintentional. Mm. You are living by some kind of principle. That's true. And what we're releasing, and I believe you release often, are the principles of God, the mind of yes. God, how he thinks. That's yes. the flow. That is the flow. That's the flow. That it's like, the, I want you to get away way. with me and see how I do this. It, it changes <laughs> everything. So I want to yeah. I want to say, I want to I go to something because those who've been watching live for weeks and mm -hmm. um, those who are in my Flow 2.0, which is my monthly coaching and accountability community where I'm walking people intentionally a lot deeper in some of these principles, mm -hmm. we've been talking about mindset makeover. Mm -hmm. And so when I've I hear seen, you yeah. talking about um, being in the right position, in the right posture, okay. how does that impact? Because it's often the way that we think. You mentioned mm -hmm. it earlier about mm -hmm. we're so rigid and we think mm -hmm. we have to do this and mm -hmm. we go to God with fear. Like, how do we look at our mindsets? How do we look at the way these, these mental strongholds sometimes that we have? How is that impacting us catching our breath or actually flowing? Proverbs says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Right. So now with the wisdom of God, Christ was made unto us wisdom. Now we're in position, but in all of your getting, now get an understanding mm. that affects posture. When you don't understand what you know, you can be in a location, but postured improperly. Ooh. So people are in Christ because Jesus did that. You put your faith in Christ, the, the blood that was shed for us, that brings healing life, uh, 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 unlimited fresh starts. Mm. Hold on. Somebody type I love that, that in the comment. Anybody need we an have unlimited, unlimited fresh, fresh starts? starts. I, let, you can't, you let, can't mess with a child of God. I'm going to say like that. When we understand oh my it, God. 
this condemnation can't get us anymore. Doubt will present itself, but it's no longer how we define ourselves. Glory to God. We, we, we are, we are, we're, we're freeing ourselves from self-debilitating criticisms, self-loathing, mm-hmm. and now we no longer permit relationships that do it. Now you begin to you begin to scrub. You don't have to go to cutting. Everybody's cutting everybody off. Yeah. I'm cutting this person. I'm cutting. Sometimes you just need to untie. My yeah. spiritual father says everything don't need to be cut. It needs to be relationships need to be redefined. Yeah, Re- I tell you what. I and people who who follow me for a while know this. I call it a uh, uh, re- reassess and then reposition. Mm-hmm. So you, I, I, you and might, we have permission to do that. We can. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, no, sorry. no, you good. You yeah, good. Yeah, this is because yeah. you you the guest. Okay. I'm the interviewee. Thank, it's good interviewer. to be here. It's good to be here. You're interviewee. Is that right interview or interview? Yeah. In a, but what yeah, I what I what I say yeah. is you you take relationships and you might have your top five people who are connecting with you, and that person in, in slot number one, two, and three may not be in the season mm-hmm. and flowing with you in the season, as as our dad mm-hmm. used to say. Mm-hmm. They may not be, you know, a destiny connector sure. in that season of your life. Mm-hmm. And I just reposition them. I'm not angry with them. I'm not mad at them. I'm not going to talk about you. I'm not going to be like, oh my God, I got to cut you off. This is what I always say. Jesus never cut me off. And I've been a hot mess, y'all. Mm-hmm. He's never cut me off even before Absolutely. I knew him. Praise which God. is when we sh- like we, we weren't Praise even cut God. off. If, even in our sin, we weren't mm-hmm. cut off. Because mm-hmm. there was still a way to be restored mm-hmm. to the Father. Because when, when, it's, when it's cut, this is severed, it's there severed. is no re- right. there's no restoration. Right. And so I don't believe I have the right to cut. I can just I can reposition a relationship mm-hmm. in my life to the point where we just have in, uh, we might just have encounters every now and then. But I can love you the same way, and I'm not going to lose my breath or lose my posture Mm-mm. so that I that that disrupts my flow. Sure. Am I saying that right? Absolutely, because now your character's at risk. Uh, because what happened is we turn into uh, people who have a lot of flesh fights. Oh, I'm getting excited. Hold on. Woo! This is some good stuff, y'all. I'm sorry. Everybody's ah! fighting everybody. Everybody's fighting everybody. And don't get me wrong. I have things that I feel very passionate about. Politics, social justice. I, I, um, I, I feel like I'm a voice and I'm a champion for people who are disenfranchised and marginalized. I get it. I love my black, and I, I want to be real, I love my black brothers. I'm a black man. But I'm, I'm very cautious because I, I'm, a, I'm a son of God first. Absolutely. And everything about him is washing and uh, uh, um, perfecting all the other areas of my life. But let me just get to what I was saying. Inspiration would do some of that. Mm. Catching your breath is about receiving inspiration from the Father. He's been around our lives talking, shifting, moving, sending us indications and confirmations. And because we don't know how to interpret his many ways of talking to us, we know him one or two ways oftentimes. Not maybe not all maybe there's some folks here that know him more than you know that, but many of us know him one or two ways. And if he doesn't speak in those one or two ways, mm. it's not him. Ooh. But he's been around your life. He's he, he's been around your life doing things. He's 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 maneuvering. And what I'm saying is his inspiration is not merit based. Uh, we want good understanding of what he's saying, but the fact that you have access to the Father, and if we can give you further understanding that he's not looking for your performance to be the concrete or the foundation of how well you do. Uh, how well you are going to do is because he's doing it in you and he's doing it through you. And my friend, he wants to do it for you. There's some stuff we're putting our hands on and inspiration says, I want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspiration says, let me, let me, let me tell you something. When you start to go with God, yeah. there's some stuff you won't have to. Because when I said it to put your character at risk, that's why you got a lot of mouthy people. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the mouthy people. Yeah, I told, I told some of my friends at my church. I said, put some grace on your lips. Yeah, I made a t-shirt, by the way. Put some grace put some on your grace lips. Put some grace on your lips. I'm going to sell this t-shirt. And you know what I'm going to do, y'all? When I sell this t-shirt, I'm going to give the proceeds to Radiant. Because I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was your stand. My sister told me, I'm like, put some grace put some on your grace lips. On your so I made a t shirt, y'all. So when I sell this t shirt, I will give the proceeds. I might mm-hmm. keep a little bit of it. But I'm going to give some proceeds to Radiant. Oh, yeah. that, wasn't my, that wasn't mine. I believe there's some t shirts coming out of this conversation oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. There's some hashtags. Yeah, some hashtags. Yeah, but put some grace. See, inspiration teaches you how to talk. You, 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 but not to be arrogant and all this other stuff that people do when they get. And, and, you, there's some things I did not have to cut off, Monica. Mm-hmm. Inspiration did. There's Ooh. some things following him automatically causes other things not to follow you, because some of those things don't want to go where you're going. Mm. 
<laughs> evil don't want to be in the midst. And see, light light comprehends darkness. So we, it's time to return to what the gospel of our faith does so we can stop doing so. We do too much. We do too much. We do too we much. Do That's most. why we're tired. And we're, and we're tired. And Monica, listen, who fusses the most but tired people? That's true. Who complains the most but tired people? Who fights the most? Can I leave me alone? Your kids come up. Mom, dad, leave me alone because you're tired. You're you're, tired. You, you ain't mad. You're not a bad parent. You're not a bad person. You're tired. You're exhausted. Things have tapped you too much. Yeah. And it's messing with your soul. And now your character, if you will, is at risk. And God's saying, get away with me and catch your breath. Yes. Let me let me see something here. Yeah, what we got? I'm going to see. I'm going to pull some comments up on the screen. So say, oh, it's white. I should have changed the color. All right, can you okay. see here? We'll put on your shirt. Yeah, so you yeah, Sandy. So Sandy inspiration. Says, yeah. What does it say? Inspiration teaches, teaches you, you how, how to talk. To, yeah. It most certainly will. I love that. Inspiration teaches you how to talk. Let's see what we got here. Um, I love this. And this is so true. He's not looking for your performance. I love that. Let me tell you the, the, the one thing that's, that's freed me the Ooh, most. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is, no, no, no. Give it to me. No, no. You go because I'm, I'm, I'm flowing. You flowing? I'm flowing. flowing. I'm with your flowing? tribe. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm flowing. Good. Go ahead. The one thing that's freed me the most is understanding that my performance doesn't change my position. It doesn't, God loves me regardless. I am, I am who he called me to be. And when I say it doesn't change my position, it doesn't change that I am unified with him. It might break fellowship in the sense that, you know, I don't feel as connected. Sense, yeah, absolutely. But we're, we're still one. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, I don't need you to perform for mm -hmm. me. Because here's what he said in Philippians 2.13. I give you the power and the desire to do what pleases me. I do that work in you. Which means mm -hmm. I don't even have it to do in the first mm -hmm. place. So I can't perform. For, I don't have it. Mm -hmm. And the, when I realize I don't have to have it, I just have to be available, postured, mm -hmm. be, be in a place where I can be inspired and I can flow. Not because I'm working so hard to get it done. And I live that life. I've mm -hmm. lived that overwhelm and anxiety. Well, you know. Mm -hmm. And I and with you, I'm like, I need to rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to work mm -hmm. while I'm resting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's that's when the mm -hmm. flow actually happens. When I'm like, and it took me to understand how to use biblical strategies, how to use biblical, how to use the word of God and be skilled at, at isolating parts of my soul to tell my soul what it gets to do and what it doesn't have to do. Absolutely. Based on what the work, what God already said I can do. No, watch the flow, darling. That's what I was saying. We're, we're not, the, the performance is not the measure. The stewarding is. I get a chance to now, and I want you to hear this in the right context. I get a chance now to lead and live my life in an honorable way. Man, look, they used to have this thing back in the day that said, whistle while you work. You need to sing while you work. You need to pray while you work. You need to laugh while you're working. Because the, the, the essence of God's presence is not labor. Come on, say it again. Somebody type that in the comments. The essence of God's work is not labor. Not. When you go into God's presence, you don't see angels running around frustrated and, and where I don't want to miss the meeting with God. They, 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 they cool. <laughs> they, they, done, they, they, they taking it easy. So here we are. Well, we on earth. We got No, let thy will be done. On earth, on, on, uh, on earth, as, as it, is it is in heaven, we we're, we're, we're now bringing uh, 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 we have superhuman powers now to bring His power into our natural. You know what the supernatural is? Is when the power of God invades natural processes. Absolutely. So we can't. We're not what other people do. Your coworker may be tired, but they need you resting. You both are working. The difference is your posture and your position is different. Now you you cannot minister what you are not possessing. Woo! And God wants you to possess this rest so yes. we can be the light of the world. Yes. And you know the light of the world should make things light. Come on. <laughs> we shouldn't get there and things get heavier. Come on. I shouldn't get home and the house be like, oh, Lord, Dad's home. You, it, when you, wherever you are, it should be the essence of God's presence is not labor. The essence of his work is not labor. The essence of God's presence is actually joy. In the presence of the Lord, Psalm 16, I believe, mm -hmm. in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. He speaks about that before he speaks about anything else. And then he says, here's what I got for you. At my right hand, where you're seated, Ephesians 1-2, mm -hmm. where you're seated. Make sure you're on the screen. Yeah, I'm on the screen. Okay, Do I come, need? On. Okay. Okay, come on. We're good. Mm -hmm. Make sure they can see the face. Here we go. The, the, in the presence of the Lord, there's a fullness of joy. And at my right hand, there are pleasures. pleasures. So where you are seated are pleasures. They're eternal or unlimited pleasures. And we've been robbed mm -hmm. of the right 
uh, paradigms and thought processes where we have to exhaust ourselves to get something. Mm. Where he says, no, there are labors for your reward, but I want to teach you how to labor. Hello. Okay. There are labors for our reward. Yes, ma'am. But he's teaching us how, how to, labor. to labor. Because his yoke is easy mm -hmm. and his burden is light. It's light. Let me tell you what, what a okay. few years ago, something God showed me. And it changed changed the game for oh, me. Oh, girl. And, and here's There's the some thing. folks going to start flowing. I'm so telling here's you. A, it's, I'm, telling yeah, you. I'm telling you. Lord, look. I got to say. So he, so here's here's what. And this is the thing. It's a process. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen overnight. And just let me tell you, some of you guys, this is something you're going to have to be not working hard, mm -hmm. right, in the sense of, of always trying to figure out how to do it. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to get in position mm -hmm. so that you can be inspired mm -hmm. to be taught. Right. And so what God taught me some years ago was there is life is not easy. But there's an ease to life. Oh, my. Yeah. There's an ease to life. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about being unapologetically free to flow, I am not apologizing for the fact that mm -hmm. I don't have mm -hmm. to do what mm -hmm. everybody else has to mm -hmm. do to get the mm -hmm. outcome that God wants me to have. Sure. I'm not apologizing for the freedom that I have to discover, mm -hmm. to embrace, mm -hmm. to be flawed, mm -hmm. and to still be what God's called me Absolutely. to be. I'm not apologizing for not being perfect and and still and God's still using me. I don't owe an explanation for mm -hmm. my process. Right. But I can engage in my process with God even when things are hard. Mm -hmm. I can still flow. Sure. And that's one of the things I, I really want the flow tribe and the people that are watching to understand. Flowing and catching your breath is not about perfection. It's not about doing everything right and mm -hmm. never making a mistake. Mm -hmm. It's about always mm -hmm. being in a position where the preeminence of God is running your life. It's running your business. It's running your relationships. It's running everything that you're doing. And let me tell you something. I've learned something about... Boy, I'm getting excited. Mike. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm about to prophesy. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm about Pro to prophesy to some people here that are present. Do it. Because I no longer apologize for being gifted. Woo! Type that in the comments, somebody. I don't have to apologize for being gifted. My Come inspiration on. is what I received before I started working. Before we started laboring in life, he gifted us with some stuff. And oftentimes when you're flowing, you need people to understand why you're flowing and what you're flowing in. And you will stop flowing to explain. Whew, I've, God, I've done it. I've done it. We, I have as I've well. I've done it. I've spent, I spent half of my messages trying to clean up what I thought somebody might have misunderstood. Oh my and God said, flow. And there, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. Many parents out there are trying to explain themselves to their children. Spouses are trying to make sure the other spouse understand where they're coming from. And I get it. There's relational responsibility. But when relational responsibility or any responsibility takes you from rest, it is irresponsible. Woo! Can you say that again? If any responsibility... Robs you of rest. It's irresponsible. You have let the, your first responsibility is to your soul. It does not excuse you for understanding that there's other players in, in the in the situation. As God shared it with me, that there's other riders in the vehicle. I understand that. But the first I can't be what I need to be if I'm not being who I am. And so Michael, the pastor is great. Michael, the father is great. Michael, the husband is OK. But I got to be Michael first. If I don't know who I am, and many of you, I'm prophesying to you, you are returning to you. You are in this rest. You're going to get you back. You, you're going to re-enter a place that he always wanted you to get. And watch this. He wants you to breathe correctly from now on. Here's what he said to me through a friend. A friend of mine uh, 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 um, and I were talking, and he says, God doesn't want you exhausted now, and he doesn't want you exhausted ever again. Now, I, I am I not that. saying that the measure that the measure of never being exhausted again means I won't be. But if I, I cannot defile the standard because of my deficiency. Woo! You can look, y'all. Yeah, what are we gonna do? We need to go get something to eat. This is enough. What's enough to chew well, on? It, 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 we so, can't, so here, oh God. Me, I can say it again. Say, say it. I need inspiration. To say, it say it again. When it's from the Father, it gives life. He says, I cannot defile the standard because of my deficiency. His mercy is for my deficiency and his mercy will cause me to be able to achieve the standard by his grace. We, he is teaching us to labor and how to labor. It's not about <coughs> inactivity, Monica. We're not talking about being lazy people. That's I live right. a full life. We're not talking about just sitting and waiting for something to happen and, and I'm going to go to church and let the <coughs> pastor do my pastor say, no, we're going to engage in life right. again. Oh man, some of you are going to engage again. 
You're getting visions back. As a matter of fact, as you're listening to me now, things that God has been sharing and talking to you is welling up inside Absolutely. of you. Get that vision from God back because therein lies your inspiration. Absolutely. But 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 you're going to see as you process, your deficiencies are going to become apparent. Absolutely. And that's important. They need to. You have to, you need to see what you can't do. It, it forces dependence. So watch, so watch this, Monica. As a pastor, one of the biggest problems I had, not just as a pastor, even as a father and a husband, was my ego. That I thought, because it was good intention or well intention, I called it right. I called it God. But it made it so much about me that you can actually train people to please you and not God. Because you would train people be, to be afraid to disappoint you. Well, here's my biggest problem. It wasn't that they were afraid to disappoint me, folks in my life. I was afraid to disappoint me. Ooh. I didn't like me when I fell short of something. Come on. Come out of this, guys. Let's leave There's this. No it was killing us. It, it does. It, I, mean, I mean, and then what happens is you go into your next assignment half cocked. Yep. Because the memory of the disappointment is robbing you of inspiration. Absolutely. And you're now you're working into the next because you're still trying to reconcile what you did before, Absolutely. and you're trying to you're trying to fix the past while you're moving in the present sure. when you can't. Oh, I got a big one for us. God yeah. is not even concerned about your past. Say it again. He's Say not even again. concerned about your past. God is spending no time on your past. He did one act. I did. And this you what just, I talked about Sunday. Yeah, I did. You can you the, can I say that this could be a little challenging, but I want to be nice. The fact that you're consumed with your past is not just the, sh the game and, and the shame and the guilt or the guilt and the shame. It's also pride. I, it's also pride. It's pride. And it's okay. I, we all, as human beings, the fallen part of our nature has this ego with it. You don't need, who oh, flow, 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 flawed, flow, yes. flawed. And you need to, not to, to celebrate deficiencies and shortcomings or sin even. No, but we cannot defile the standard. And the first standard isn't one of performance. The first standard is one of belief. Come on. I'm, Mike, I promise you, this was this was Sunday's message. Okay. This entire, it's, it was about belief. He said your name when I was going to be out of town. He said she needs, she, she needs to share. Give her a piece of catch her breath because she has the word. Monica, the, let the me first, let me just say this. Let me let me okay. just say this because okay. when you talked about okay. the pride, sure. one of the things that I said was the fact that we think. Y'all hold on now. Don't don't stay with us because we're gonna get yeah. through this. this. This group is live. They they hang is in there. So all right, all right, so, all so, right, so, all right. so here's here's what I realized because I I want I want what I want to do after I want to get some practical like tell me how to get in position. How okay. do I posture okay. myself? Good. Good. But one of the things that I said Sunday was this: if you operate. And you beat yourself up when you fall short. Mm -hmm. You're operating in pride because there's an expectation that you have that you won't fall short. Sure, sure. The very fact that, that, that God actually mm -hmm. says to bring your failures to me mm -hmm. tells us that he expects us to have a failure to bring to him. Absolutely. Because if there is nothing that we need to bring to him, <sighs> then we're already perfect, which means we're not, we don't even need to be here. Mm -hmm. And so it's what Paul said, like it, it's in the weaknesses, right? I boast in that because this is where I recognize the grace of God is really a uh, uh, preeminence in my life. It's strengthening me. Mm -hmm. And so I always say this to the flow tribe. This is not about perfection because if you are trying to do it right, you, all, trying to be right, trying mm -hmm. to never, ever have, uh, never fail, ne you know, or you're always scared of everything. Mm -hmm. You're operating in pride. Mm -hmm. And here's what happens. God resists the proud. Mm -hmm. The, which are the very thing that you need mm -hmm. to flow. Mm -hmm. God, you're, you're you're resisting. He resists the proud. And here's what it says in James four: gives more grace, more grace. not just grace, mm -hmm. but gives more sure. grace mm -hmm. because there's a recognition. I can't do this. Right. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do it, it can't get done. Sure. So, sure. so go ahead. Go ahead. I just want what we don't want to do is fall in the likelihood of becoming thieves and robbers of stealing glory that just simply Ooh. does not belong to us. Come on. And that's why he can't afford. He doesn't give grace where he won't get glory. Somebody comment that because I'm going to have to go back to these comments and, and make some some uh, images. Or something. I'm telling him, God, Come on. you know what? Get all the glory. Give, give me all your grace. I need it. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm falling short. I'm tired. I'm, I'm getting angry fast. I'm frustrated quickly. Oh. These are realistic moments in my life and in yours as well. And none of that surprised him. None of that changed the relationship. It actually strengthened it. And here's what he asked me to do. So here's the practical wisdom. He said, I want you to focus on building belief in you. I was building 
Yeah. I was yeah, trying yeah. to build my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. trying to build an empire. I was trying to build a legacy. <clears throat> you build belief. Your labor, you labor to enter into rest. Yes. Hebrews 4. Yes. Right? You labor to enter into rest. I labored so you could. Come. <laughs> I said, thank you, Father. And I really called God, I call God Father now more than I ever have because he really is that. And so practical wisdom, here's how I'm building belief in me. I am le- I am living, and, 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 and I'm being a little sarcastic, don't let people fool you. People are not as prayerful. Come as on. they leaders on now, they're not. There are people that talk more about God than they talk to Him, Whew. and that's therein lies where the inspiration is lacking. So we're rolling off of yesterday's revelation. We're rolling off of, or this one, we're quoting someone else's inspiration, and that's okay. But there's not there's not full power in something that you haven't possessed. Mm. So I'm encouraging you that although we're speaking, this is all of ours, man. This is available to us. Yes. Receive these things for yourself. Uh, begin to speak them and build belief in your life. Build a, a stronger belief in you because your labor is to enter into rest. He labored so you could. Yes. So how do we do that, Monica? I, I am learning how to be more uh, meditative. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, meditative. I'm, I'm slowing down and reflecting, Ooh. and I'm inviting him into my reflections. You know what? We talk about praying to God and we don't even include him in them. We, 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 I'm going to pray. And it's my, my daughter, Gabrielle says, she said, daddy, let me remind you that prayer is not just a task. Prayer is a privilege. It's, come on. You get a chance to talk to the one who made everything. Sustainer of all things. I have, the, I have direct access to the sustainer of all, of things, all things, the creator of all things, so I can sustain. Absolutely. So I can be creative. There is a release of creativity and innovation that awaits the people of God. Why? Because it's found in rest. Okay. So Hebrews 4 says there's a rest that remains. And if everything we need is in rest, how much are we lacking because we're not in rest? Come on. Come on. So the inspiration you've been looking for, friend, is in your rest. The creativity, it's in your rest. I get it. We're not talking inactivity. We're talking about how we labor. Yeah. We're putting him in front of our days. Yeah. And we're putting him in our days. We're inviting him. He's with you, but is he involved? Yeah. So it's like this for the child of God. And, and, and anybody that's more uh, doctrinally sound, we welcome you to come. But here's how I understand this New Testament covenant. And I said this while I was ministering. I, I remember, I think when I said it, you started... Screaming and hollering in our church. You probably told me to be quiet yeah. too, because well, I scream and holler. Yeah, right? He tells me to be quiet. Radiant is radiant, but she she's I'm more loud. she's more radiant than radiant. I said, Lord, Jesus. and let me tell you why. Because why, I understand. Absolutely, I, I am I a you. student of God's word. Absolutely, and I'm not a student of. And I tell people this: I'm not a student of God's word because I just need to know it to make myself sure, sound good. Sure, the word of God has literally mm-hmm. transformed. Form mm-hmm. my life. Mm-hmm. It's transformed the way I think. Mm-hmm. It's transformed the way that I, I have relationships. Mm-hmm. It's transformed the way I do business. Mm-hmm. Listen to me. I'm gonna say this. Not. I, I was talking to uh, people, and this, this, uh, is, this is what what you were talking about yeah. when we talk about flowing and knowing what God has mm-hmm. already done. When we know what God has already done, we don't have to look to the world to figure out how to get it done. Sure. And I'm gonna give you an example. One of the things that people often do, and I actually mentioned this Sunday, is that they, they, we work hard. We get it done. Mm-hmm. We, get, we build our thing, mm-hmm. right? And we include God in and the And we're process. hard workers. And we're hard workers. Mm-hmm. We are very hard workers, y'all. Mm-hmm. All right? Now, here's the deal. God taught me something. He said, I want you to learn 80% uh, strategy and 20% execution. Mm. And the 80% strategy he taught me was get in my face. It was, I need you to learn to get inspiration it doesn't mean that I'm not working. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that I'm on my knees 24 hours a day. It does mean, though, 80% of what I'm doing to move is being inspired. So when I actually have to execute, get a program, learn a program, teach, train, that, that execution is effortless because I spend time, I live in inspiration so that I can be an inspiration. Well, can I just keep going yeah, with go you? Because go ahead, go ahead. the inspiration yeah. isn't just for you. Come on. Your plans involve so many people, and inspiration needs to do stuff that you can't do. Come on. Inspiration needs to reach players and I don't want to use the word pawns, but players in pieces in your life that you can't reach. Uh, but inspiration can deal with hearts. 
Inspiration can move people and things. It can cause things to work in your favor. And some of you are seeming like you're in a holding pattern and it's not you're in a holding pattern. Inspiration's at work. It's done something in you. You need to rest in what it's done and now it's working on other pieces so it all can come together because God does have a big idea. Come Y'all, I'm trying to tell he you. He has a big idea, Monica. I, I, An eco, one that affects the economics of our life. Yes. It affects the relationships Everything. of our life. God has a very big idea. So egos have no room in the kingdom. Because egos make you big but shrinks vision. Mm. We need vision because vision is inspiration. Yeah. People get that and they can run with it. They can run. Rebecca said, I can run with other people can run with something that's been made plain. Something that's only for you and you keep it all spiritual and deep. You fasting but still mean. You praying but can't yep. get along. That You don't shrunk vision but increased you. Absolutely. But but John the Baptist posture was, I want to decrease. So Absolutely. the vision, so the real Absolutely. purpose, so the big idea, Jesus. Uh -huh. So the big idea can increase. So what we're doing in this getting in God's presence it's a decreasing of self and it's an increasing of selflessness we are we are becoming my pastor says it like this we are becoming others minded yes. oh man listen listen oh, man. you cannot flow because flow is about impact mm -hmm. right it's not about impacting your personal sure. life maximizing my sure. life should be flowing into the lives of others absolutely if i am not serving people i cannot serve god my. it is impossible because when god Came to the, when Christ came to mm -hmm. the earth, he came to serve. Sure. And guess who he served? He served us. Yes. So that we could be servants mm -hmm. to other people. Absolutely. And if everybody is in a cycle of service, yeah. nobody has time for no ego. No one has time. And no you, one's left out. And no one's left out. And guess what? You get to operate in the skill set that God has given you, mm -hmm. the gift, the calling, without fighting for who's sure. going to get the petition first. Listen, <clears throat> my brother and I both have a call to teach. Mm -hmm. Is this true? It's very true. God has given us this call. We have different personalities. Mm -hmm. We are passionate about it. If the, if, if the flow tribe and what I do is about me trying to get my people or people right. I think I should right. have, right. I can't have them on. Right. This boy will preach me under the table. Y'all hear him? But you're he, it's amazing. I, I don't know if I'm smarter than you. Right. He's a, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't. Because it here, really doesn't. Here's, what's, here's what I understand. What he has, I love you too. I love you too, babe. What he has, I can't give. Mm -hmm. I could not sit here tonight with this series. You know why? God didn't inspire me mm -hmm. with that word. Mm -hmm. He inspired me with the word he gave me. Yeah. And, and so what yeah. I give you weekly is what he gives me. And when I bring people on, it's because he's inspiring mm -hmm. them. I would be irresponsible. Okay. I'd be selfish if I did not bring people in to do what sure. God has not called me sure. to do. That is flowing. Yeah. Flowing isn't about me doing mm -hmm. it by myself. It's about who has the inspiration yeah. that can move what God wants to move in the earth so that people who don't know what the big idea is get an idea of what the big idea what is. The big idea. And Monica, let me say this to you. I heard this while you were talking. There's a lot of folks that's a part of your tribe, some good folks who are actually interested in building a team. They need team players. Some people that, let inspiration be your guide. You need people that can flow. Uh, not people who always have the most competency or even the most intel, but if they have the heart and the ability to receive, they, they know how to catch the wind and ride it. They know how to catch the wave and ride it. They know how to catch the vision and run with it. You, I'm telling you, and by that, you will receive skilled people. You will yes, receive you will. The inspiration will staff our ignorance. What we don't know, inspiration will come and tell us because inspiration will also and is also known as um, God's intelligence. I'm going to leave that alone. It's exactly what that is. Yeah. It's what I call Christ-like intelligence. Absolutely. How do you live like that? And, and this is this is a thing sure. that I want our, our, I want everybody to get. Okay. And I want them to understand that one. I'm super excited. And my inside is like bubbling over. I'm really trying to keep it together because this is some good stuff. I, I, this yeah. is stuff that will change the traje trajectory of your life. It really will. Life. It really will. It will change your life. It really will. And so I even tell, you know, I, yeah. one thing I try, I try to keep <laughs> my really lives will. a little bit uh, um, less, but here's the deal. When it's flowing, oh, it's Lord, flowing. We have we good. Minutes. Well, okay. not really, because part of that is a countdown timer. Okay. So we're, we're, we're good. good. We're but good. here's what we're going to do. Here, here's what I want people to understand, right? That one of the, the biggest strategy, the biggest thing that I hear that I'm taking away from this is the way that we do this is oh, we have something. to grow in our belief, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not grow in the work, mm -hmm. but grow in the belief. Mm -hmm. This is one of the reasons why I, with the flow tribe oh, and with man. the people that I'm growing 
is how do we take biblical, how do we take the word of God and take the truth and isolate it in the areas of our life that we need it? It is important. Okay. Mm. I have a, you give it because it's coming. Can I go? Go. So, so so it's a practical, but instructional. And those of you who know the gifts of the spirit, it's prophetical. This is a words, words of knowledge and wisdom here that are going to be flowing uh, prayerfully in a complimenting way. It will. Um, One of the practical things that you can do in your workplace, in your church, in your ministry, in your family is hold firm to what God said. Hold firmer to what he is saying. Mm. You have to have an openness. We, it's <laughs> like this. If Abraham did not hear or only heard what God said, we would not have gotten Isaac. We would have lost him. We would have lost Isaac because Abraham would have held to what God said, past tense. But because the unfolding voice of God is yet speaking and we're postured to receive it, he heard God in the present. Uh, 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 so what God has said, he's making clear as you go along. You're going to be journeying through things. And that's where you are, friend. It's not as it's not as bad as it seems. But it's going to seem how you perceive it. Your understanding is going to shape the perception of your life. Everything. You need new glasses. Man, forget it. You just need new eyes. Let God show you what he's seen for you. Because eyes, natural eyes have not seen. But he wants to open up to you vision. And what happens is when he does this, here's the practical move in this. You want to hold firm. And firm, you're going to spend more time believing than you were working. Come on. Truth. It is so true. We're seeing success at Radiant not because we have the best of everything, but we are standing firm on what he showed us. Abeka said, I will wait and see See what what the Lord tells me. So what the Lord tells us has imagery. You don't just need to hear it. You need to hear it till you see it. And if God has shown you your home coming into order, you need to hear that till you see it. Till it's manifested and okay. comes to fruition. In your workplace, take the wisdom of God into that place. Affect the marketplace. Affect yes. the mountains of influence. The kingdoms of this world yes. must become the kingdoms of our God. And so what does he do? He's placed us in different mountains of influence so we can have influence. But what you won't be able to do is influence where you're not properly influenced. So inspiration is influencing you so you can be his influence in that area of influence. God is bringing you to a place of better posture. He's really, oh my friend, I'm t- burdens and weights of having to please people. This is a new, it's not just a new year, new decade. Your life is getting a fresh start. I mean, the life of God is literally being pumped into yes, you. Your yes. health is going to get better. The health of Jesus is yours. The, the, the breathing of God releasing and you receiving, this is your new posture. You have been, you've been getting a little bit from God and then you will run, you would actually run right from his presence to go do work. Yeah. And you didn't got to do that no more, man. You are believing him to be in you what you try to be in and with of yourself. So, yeah. <sighs> so the firmness is <sighs> holding fast now. Monica, here's how I've changed my life. And I'm changing. Like your health, I, I want to speak to health. Like these, this high blood pressure, stress, which makes us susceptible to being diabetic, being uh, having hypertension, uh, heart problems with heart, uh, hypertension is a part of you. It's a heart. It's really a heart disease affecting your circulatory system. I'm speaking life and inspiration to our physical bodies, but you have to stay in a place of believing now because he he don't want you exhausted now, and he doesn't want you exhausted again. No, he doesn't, and you don't have to be. Let, let me give you. I'm, I'm going to give a practical. Everything you just. I'm, okay. I'm, it's something that happened recently. Okay, that sure. I'm going to tell you that what he is saying is real. Hope that helps someone. Hope that helps someone. If, if, let me just say this. I, I see some comments. If this is helping you, if this yeah. is really helping you, type in the comments. This is helping me. I need it. This. Sherry Thompson got? said, "Better posture, better posture is, is our, our fresh start. start. Absolutely, it changes everything. Mm-hmm. So recently, I had a situation, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna move on. But I had a situation with what you're saying where. I, and people who know. Ooh, I see you, Pastor. Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. You finished. It's okay. Apostle yeah. Bailey said, running from his pres- presence to what? go do work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, where is that? Because uh, he cut me off, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna, I'm going to let him have it. I'm going to let you flow, darling. No, no, no. It's all right. There it is. There running it is. from his presence to do works. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, it's, you lose what you get in inspiration when you go run and go do work. Mm-hmm. Because here's the thing about, I'm changing the subject here, but here's the sure. thing about inspiration that I've learned. No, no, okay. no, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Is that inspiration from God is often like a new baby. Mm-hmm. It has to, you have to good, take it, good, right? Good. And what happens is when you get new thoughts and new ideas and new inspiration, okay. it's got to be settled. Mm-hmm. So when the baby is born, mm-hmm. you don't take the baby and just go out and run in the streets. You yeah. know what the old folks say, mm-hmm. keep the baby in the house, make sure the baby's wrapped up. You're nurturing. protecting mm-hmm. it. You're nurturing mm-hmm. it until it's developed mm-hmm. in a way that it can now be shared. And so sometimes what we do is we we get something from God in prayer and we go run and tell right. somebody mm-hmm. we, like Martin, right? Run, mm-hmm. tell that mm-hmm. we're ready, ready. Mm-hmm. But it never had a time to settle and concretize and to get settled sure. in us mm-hmm. so that we could ex- uh, share it in a way that's going to have maximum impact. So we end up sh- uh, cutting short the impact that we can have right. because we never took the time to really hear the fullness right. and really get the inspiration settled in our sure, mind sure. so we could then share. Now the grace of God will always, you know, he's there. Yeah, he'll help yeah. us. He'll bring that inspiration mm-hmm. back and help us grow. We're not perfect. But I love the fact that we have, that you're teaching us. It's not about getting in his presence and then getting from his presence to go do work. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's to be inspired. Come on. You're, it's, it's there. You're the relationship it. is the reward. The relationship is the reward. I'm telling you, we can have nice things. But if you have learned anything about life, you found out that they do not satisfy. The fact that I have him to go to, yeah, that's my reward. I appreciate and I honor all the good of life. But the real reward is the, is the improved and the developed relationship with God. And then he gives, he does give rewards. Yeah. He gives rewards not for, not for laboring hard, but for stewarding right. Come on. Not some. So we, my day used to talk about stewarding a lot, and I didn't understand it as much then because probably I wasn't really interested in being a good steward. But yeah. really, you have a responsibility to to really manage what he's put in your care yes. and to whom much is given, much is required. But here's what happens. You'll be able to do so with the much because you've been able to manage the little yeah. and watch the little. The little is the first release of the inspiration. Manage that first. Yes. Learn how to incubate that thing and yes. grow it and nurture it. I appreciate social media, but be careful how much you release too quickly. Some of these dreams and visions are so fragile Woo, that's it. because they're it's in an in, they're in an infancy. infancy. Yes. They're in infancy. It's a baby. So you're sharing a baby and then other people come and mishandle your baby. Yeah. And then you're mad. And then you're angry. And then you, because, then you yeah. need grace on your list. Right. Now you need grace because you want to hurt somebody. Now you need grace because now you're mad. Yeah. And now you're, they're your haters. And sure. you spend all of your sure. time talking about your haters, what they said and didn't say and how they're treating you, that you've left your inspiration mm-hmm. abandoned. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. abandoned now. Now this baby that God has given you mm-hmm. is not only not being developed, sure. but you've abandoned it sure. to go run after run people after. to tell them why they mess with your baby yeah. that you have now abandoned. My daughter, my 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 daughter, Marlisha, taught a while. She was young and I was teaching her some things in the Bible. And she was talking about the wicked mother, the two mothers that had the baby that fought over the baby and one who was trying to get her baby back and the other who really cared for the baby. And I, 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 this might sound a little churchy, Ooh, but I, I want to say this to you. About the inspirations, the dreams, the things God has spoke. Go get your baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby, baby, baby back. back. <laughs> get, I want some ribs. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I can't have ribs right now. Oh, okay, I can't. I can have ribs, but I'm, I've cut down carbs. Okay, yeah. but you can have ribs. So I'm going to get my carbs. sexy back, sexy okay. back, sexy back. Same here. So, um... Get that baby back. And what I mean by that is God's going to give it to you. It may not even look like what he first, what it looked like when he first told you. It may not even sound like it, but it's yours. And this time, nurture it. Be careful not to share a fragile thing. Yes. And let me say something to that. Okay. Not only not to share the fragile thing, but make sure you're- Prematurely. Your, prematurely. Okay. But make sure your soul is in a place okay. that when people start- when, mm-hmm. when you do release that thing mm-hmm. and people are coming against it because mm-hmm. they don't get it, that mm-hmm. your soul is in a place where you're mm-hmm. fortified with truth. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. the thing is, if, if you don't have the truth of what God said about who you are, the promises he has over your life, mm-hmm. even though you have the inspiration, your soul is not fortified sure. with truth. And so people can rob you yeah. of what is what is what sure. was rightfully yours yeah. because you haven't stored it your own soul. Inspired people are attractive. Come on. Say it again. And you have to know with you have to know what to do with the things and the people you're attracting because all those motives are not pure. Come on. You may be, and that's what let me speak to that, because inspiration also purifies. When let me tell you something. I didn't share the whole story. And we'll get we we'll have to do some more. We're gonna have to do another one. We, we might yeah. have to do this next week. Because um, I might have to do we'll a have part to do some two. more. Because 
at one of the things that was happening with me as we took this, the whole church went on a sabbatical. The Lord said to me, you need some, you need some rest. You need to hear from me in some areas. And those who are on your team, they need to. If you're going, that means they're going. And I said, man, the whole church. Let it. And we're okay with that reality. But here's what was happening for me in that time. And I heard the Holy Spirit to do that. I didn't just do it haphazardly. I really heard God on that. But he began to work in Michael. Not Michael the pastor, but Michael. And uh, my wife actually... Uh, and my daughters went away for a couple for a weekend uh, during this time, and she said, "Why don't you Why not you come?" And I was like, ah, "I want to stay home, and you know, I just want to Netflix and hang out. Can't really Netflix and chill because you go, so I'm just gonna Netflix. So I'm Netflixing. And, uh, so 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 I'm just home, and I think Michael was downstairs and he was chilling. And, but the Holy Spirit says, uh, "No, you should go. Take that invite. Go with them. She wants you to come." So I went down and I stayed with them. Uh, this little getaway that they uh, got and everything, and and so I went with them and. The, that night, um, the Holy Spirit, man, well, he always would visit me early in the morning. That's when I have a lot of my visitations with God and so forth. But listen, the inspiration, catching your breath is also about, and listen, I want you to hear this properly. He purifies. God knows how to mercifully cleanse you. Yes, he does. God, he knows how to patiently wash you. Watch church. And watch mean religion that tells you, Lord, purge, watch me with hits. And, and they mean hit you with a bar of soap because they mad about your sin. You're right, 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 right. He said, you don't come to my presence to get punished. Uh, you come to my presence to be processed. And I do so patiently and I do so mercifully. And you don't be ashamed any longer of your story. And I'm not saying you need all of that needs to be shared, but you need to be free within about what God is doing and what he needed to do. There are battles that all of us have. There's weaknesses. And you got to start understanding that in the presence of God, it's okay to be honest. My sister will say all the time, if we don't have honesty, we don't have anything. So start on honesty. Talk to the Lord about what hinders. If it's ego, if it's what you've been through, it's if, if, it's, if it's a rat race, you feel like you got to compete yes. with others. Deal with whatever is yes. motivating you that's impure because it's robbing you of inspiration. Absolutely. It's taking you out of that good place. Deal with, if it's, Lord, I don't manage money well. I need your wisdom there. Lord, I do get mad at my children because I want them to be better than I was. <clears throat> or I'm still mad at the relationship that produced them. It's okay to be honest about what aggravates. Come on. Be honest about what aggravates. Because he already knows. He already, he knows. already knows. And we have to, I'm, I'm writing one book. It's called It's Okay. And it's a book of permission. Come on. It's a book of permission. And I know when this book is done, it's, we're going we're gonna, to gonna be yeah. back on here to talk about this it's book. It's okay. Because we need that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we need that. We need to tell, before we tell everybody, and I've been able to tell my babies, my children, they come to me with their burdens and now they know, they're probably learning that they can come more now. Yeah. Because dad's okay. Yeah. It's hard to go to people that are going to trip out when they hear your stuff. Absolutely. But, but I'm telling them after we talk and after we, I say, hey, it's okay. It's okay. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna pray. Yeah. We're gonna talk. Let's go get something to eat. Yeah. Let's let's talk this out. You, you want some you wanna be alone? Yeah. That's okay. You don't want to talk right now? That's okay. We gotta deal with some things. Uh can we can you follow up with me? Yeah, Dad, I'm gonna follow up with you. That's okay. That's good. That's good. Because pressure has ran our life and we have tried to force things into fruition. Yes. We've tried to we tried to make maturity happen. And you can't I'm gonna leave that. You can't make it. You can't. You can't and even it. if it looks like it, it really it isn't. Really isn't. It really isn't. It's fear. We are yeah. breeding fear. And that's one of the things I've, I've, I've teach people. Oh, my God. As a matter Lord, of fact. I honor you today. Go ahead. The next series. I'm working on this Mindset Makeover series. The next God. series that I'm going into in the next quarter and, mm -hmm. and starting in at the end of February, beginning of March, is we're going to be talking about fear and how to okay. overcome. Mm -hmm. Because what we've done is we, we've made people afraid. Sure. We, we try to fear people into mm -hmm. making decisions in their life and doing things in their life. And so we have behavior modification, yep. but there's no heart change. Sure. And if sure. you don't have a heart change, not only can you not flow, you can't get inspiration. Right. There, there has to be an openness of That's heart, right. a truthfulness of mm -hmm. heart that allows God to inspire. And let me tell you something. God inspires people who are flawed. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be perfect to hear from God. And people often think, well, I'm not in the right mm -hmm. place. God doesn't love me. I've done something, so he's not speaking to me. He speaks to you where you are, no matter what you've done. Monica, we got to catch some of these comments. We That's catch very some consistent what you just said. Look at Taj Cannon. We need to tell the church that it's okay. And watch what Brian has to say. He said, Pastor Mike, they come to you more as we resemble the Father more. Ooh. Look at that attraction. He, God is attractive. We got to represent him. We have to. 
represent. The father is attractive. And what is attractive about God? His fathering. His his he's not mad at his creation. He's not. All right. I mean, I feel like God. It's sometimes it's. Oh, uh, anyway. Uh, Toby Rayford, you can. That's right, sister. You cannot make maturity happen. Anything that's forced won't last. It won't. Mm -mm. So here's what I want to do because uh, this was this was, it was longer, a shade divine. Let's call. Let's couple more. Can we get, get a couple more? more? We can get a couple True more. True and. Oh, oh if wait we, a minute. Behavior modification requires. Uh huh. All right. You need a heart change. That's good. Atash Cannon. Who is it? True. Bring that. Can we bring this one? On? Yeah. Yeah. True. And if we not, if we're not careful, we will misappropriate our oh time. Oh my God. Misuse it. Listen, yes. Listen. This is one of the number one reasons why we're inconsistent. Mm -hmm. Why we don't know how to manage our time because mm -hmm. we can't manage our life. Mm -hmm. It's not about time management as much as it is about life management, energy management. When you're always running, 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 you mm -hmm. can't catch your breath. Mm -hmm. You don't have the energy right. to do the work sure. and so you evade the breath of God mm -hmm. because you not because God's breath isn't there for you mm -hmm. but you're running so fast that you can't even catch his breath sure. to do the work because in his breath is the energy <sighs> y'all we got go, yeah because really. there's so much flowing um, so, so so what so you want to do I, I don't I'm uh, you good what do I mean you have something else to say because I don't well wanna... I I just feel even throughout the night I kept hearing it. There is a there's a need to explain. God wants to explain the friction in your life. And he's gonna do so. And all of it won't be on this live. Some of it could because we're believing God, he'll release wisdom and it'll flow uninterrupted, right? But friends, he's Ooh. about to we've learned to be functional and dysfunctional. Ooh. Absolutely. We've got a good understanding, Shishi Curtis, of a misunderstanding. Mm. We are loud and wrong, yep. but no longer, no, no longer. longer, not us, no not longer. you on this live yeah, tonight. Not this tribe, not this group, not Radiant Nation, not the Flow Tribe, and anything connected to us. We are leaving dysfunction, and we're becoming functional beings. And you know what? Pursue health, friends. Yeah. Pursue health, my friend. Pursue being whole. And there is no holiness without wholeness. Come on. But all right, that's, that's another. Whole other yeah, part. So, we will miss the mark if we don't grab these principles. Yes, this is life changing. And here's the thing: these yes. are principles that we're talking to you about. Mm -hmm. These are principles that we've had to learn sure. and we have to live. Like God is sanctifying our own mm -hmm. lives. I'm still embracing it. Absolutely, tightly. I am. Mm -hmm. You and me too. And mm -hmm. so we're bringing this because we've lived it, and we're, we're we've lived it, and we're living it, and we're mm -hmm. seeing the fruit of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna wait. To, to share with what with with our tribe with those who are here with what we're already experiencing sure. to let you know that even in the process God will do the transformation yeah. while you're learning you are changing and transforming sure. and if you don't embrace things when they're coming to you as opposed to oh let me think about that well I don't know do what you do right but this is not the time this is a time to take what you know is truth because God is somebody out here not only is God speaking to your heart he is really saying to you yes. I've been telling you this. I've been trying to tell yes. you this. Take this mm -hmm. and let's move. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it's not a you've been mm -hmm. need to execute. You've been sitting in this strategy hole too long. And it's God is saying it's time for you to move. You have what you need. Mm -hmm. And I want you to now stop working, working so hard to try to make it happen and now rest in what's already happened and find your flow in that. Believe. Believe what I said. Build belief in your life. Build yes. belief in your life. Maybe what we'll do is do a, a, a live on specifically how do you build belief? Mm -hmm. Like I have strategies and principles mm -hmm. around that, but I'd love to hear that mm -hmm. from you as well. Um, mm -hmm. What I want to say is this. All right, because we're going to go. It's, a, it's our hour. I didn't know. Hour. I didn't okay. know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Kind of like my preaching. This. I'd be like, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, both of us had the. the Y'all just in trouble with both of us at yeah. the table at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. We might not ever stop. Yeah. Come, uh, must be. Be, be, must be self-disciplined and stop self-compromising. Yes. Sheila. Yes, self-compromising. Yeah, that's 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 unhealthy. That's unhealthy. You're right. That's unhealthy. When you, everything else can be well, but you keep you at risk. <coughs> yes. You'll minister to everything else but you. Right? Everything. That's unhealthy. It's That's not good. We, we have to make sure we're pouring into ourselves. My daughter, Zion, said that. She said, Dad, those that properly pour out will never be empty. But the key word was properly. Those that properly pour out. Um, this is a freshman, now sophomore in college. She said, "Those." She said it as a freshman, I believe. She said, "Those that properly pour out will never be empty." So hold on to that. Here's what I wanted to say, though. Here's one of the practical um, um, admonishments, urgings. I want to share with my friends here, um, Flow Tribe, Radiant Nation, everyone connected, everyone here. Be a student 
of what inspires you. That's when you talk about taking care of that baby in, in, in its infancy, nurturing it. Here's how you nurture it. Here's how you build that belief system. And some of these, some of the things may be, may not look kingdom. We, that's a further conversation. It won't always be in the church, if you will, yes. but it needs to be consistent yes. with the principles because you have to become a student of that which inspires you so you have know-how. Yes. Um, but the Holy Spirit spoke this to me, and I, I think this will be my last one for tonight. Um, he says, "My the good plan of God is, is going to bring you pleasure. Mm. The good plan of God is going to bring you pleasure. I'll say it again mm. uh, to get my speech hang, uh, hang up out of the way. The good plan of God, meditating on it, becoming a student of it, you're going to be, you're, by default, you're going to be inspiring yourself. By default, you're happy as the man. Mm. That findeth wisdom and the man that get it. You by default you're going to be feeding yourself and building belief in you by studying what inspires you. I mean, your feet are going to be moving and you won't even feel tired. He said, uh, 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 "Who was this?" Isaiah. He said, "You're going to mount up with the wings of it. You're going to run and not get weary. You're going to walk and not faint because they that wait upon the Lord." That was the the beginning of that scripture. What is waiting? Waiting is knowing what to do with something that's in infancy. Mm. It's knowing waiting means management. Waiting means to steward. It means it's not time to share. Mm -hmm. It's not time to publicize. It's not time to live in obscurity. Be okay. Yes. <clears throat> Be yes. okay with spending your time in God's. Here's what I was going to say earlier. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Earlier I said this, children of God, doctrinally speaking, you are in the house of God. You are part of the family of God. He's inviting you to his bedroom. You're in the house. But now it's, it's time for frequent intimacy. Yes. Where God can share things with you. For you, your relationship is so unique with him. Oh, find it and cherish it because that's your reward. The essence of his presence is joy and the good plan of God is going to bring pleasure uh, into your life. Happiness is yours. Listen, if Man. you caught your breath tonight, <laughs> call me. <laughs> ah, the big guy made a weird noise. <laughs> I'm, I want to, I'm going, here's what I'm, when I'm done here, I'm going I'm to drive home happy. Yes, same I'm here. living and I'm working differently. We're not doing it for the amens anymore. We're doing it so we can look at our lives and say, hey, man. That's right. That's right. I want to like where I live. I want to like who I live with. I yep. want to like, you know, all those things. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you're good. I was going to say, if you if you were able to catch your breath tonight, I want you to comment below, comment uh, in the comment section and put, I caught my breath. Mm -hmm. Hashtag caught my breath. Because I'm telling you, we're, we're facilitating this, but I am catching the fresh wind. I think somebody said that, actually. I am catching, um, where is it? Somebody said about being a fresh wind. Yeah, this is a fresh wind. I am catching the fresh wind of God, the breath of God that's inspiring me even while I'm sitting sure, here. Sure, sure. Even while I'm sitting, I'm sure. thinking about what can I what what can I do to continue this conversation? How can we impact more people? How can we we move this you, message? You're catching it. You're getting it. Because yeah. I'm getting mm -hmm. while I'm sitting here. Answers, answers. It, it changes Direction. everything. So here's what we're gonna do. So here's the, so Pastor Mike. Yeah. Mike, do I want to call you Pastor Mike? Mike, call you? my name is Michael. My his, you, his you name do, is Michael. Yeah. Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike. Okay. So here's the deal. So I'm going to call him Mike. <laughs> so here's the deal. Can we have you back for a part two? Okay. I don't, I want to do it next week, but I'll wait. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll, we'll do we it next week. Some, we'll make it happen. We, okay. See, so inspiration. We'll inspiration. Make it happen. So next week, I want to do a part two of Catch Your Breath. I right? wonder. What do you wonder? I'm getting inspiration. Let's. We're going to talk about something offline. Okay. Radiant Nation, you're a part of what I'm hearing. So you got to be ready to be a part of this. We're about to do something. We about to do something. You're about to do something. We're gonna do something. Gonna I don't do even something. know what the something is, but somebody called inspiration. I'm catching. I, I know when to catch the flow. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? I live in flow. No matter what my financial situation is, no matter how I'm feeling emotionally. You know, guys, I always say emotions are indicators, mm -hmm. but they're not my dictators. Sure. They indicate there's something Good. happening. Good. Right. I got to do something with that, but Good. they don't dictate how I flow. Good. So I'm flowing all the time. I have learned. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I have learned, and I'm learning. Mm -hmm. That I have to live in a constant state of flow, mm -hmm. which means I'm not in a constant state of overwhelm. Right. Because I can't right. be overwhelmed in flow. Right. And right. so we're going to, I don't know what his inspiration is, but I'm catching it too. We're going to talk about it, yeah. We're going to talk about yeah. it. But here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to let y'all go. But I am so excited about what happened here tonight. I believe in my heart that lives were, I told y'all it was going to be epic. Lives were changed. Pastor Mike, Mike, Big Mike, Dad, 
brother, uncle, cousin to them. No, because that sounds like Kurt. I'm just oh, he says that? Young. Okay, I can't say that. But Mike, big Mike. I Shout am out to so, Kurt. I am so excited um, that you joined us tonight. Um, My that I know it's been a crazy week. It's a lot mm -hmm, going on mm -hmm, all the time. Mm -hmm. But this is what I love about God. Yeah. He, he makes space for the flow. I feel good. He makes so space good. for the flow. So he mm -hmm. feels good, y'all. I feel good. Mm -hmm. Let me see if, um, oh, look at this. I love this. I'm inspired enough to just stop, to not just breathe, but, but catch, catch a, a good, good breath. breath. Woo! For, for the, the duration, duration of, of this job. Yes, Sheila. Girl, you're talking right, Yes, you're talking right. We might do something with this catch your breath. I this, mean, I don't know. We're gonna we have need to, to tell something. the nation to catch the breath. Catch your breath. It changes everything, y'all. I'm telling you. So I'm excited. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let y'all go. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, yeah. what I want you to do is in the comment section, um, I want you to put your questions. Even more than that, go to monicaspate.com, mm -hmm. and I want you to join uh, the Flow Tribe. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's an email community. It's free yep. that I'm going to be sending out. Um, uh, what I do mm -hmm. after the Facebook Lives, I create what I call 50 Seconds of Flow. Okay. So believe it or not, I'm okay. going to take something from this live and distill it down in 50 seconds or less, okay. less so people can actually get something mm -hmm. from this. But I say that because you'll be you'll you'll know when Pastor when Mike is coming back on, you'll know what, what's gonna be happening that I don't even know what's happening yet, but you'll be the first to know it. So make sure you're on the email community. Just go to monicaspate.com and get put your email address in. It's that simple. And you'll be in the know, you'll be connected with whatever's happening because I believe not just uh, 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 the, the 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 people that are watching this, but I believe beyond even this live video, people who are gonna be watching it later are gonna be impacted by what happens sure. tonight. Sure. Radiant Nation, Flow Share Tribe, yeah. those who have your own yeah. thing. I'm telling you, God, we're connected to do an amazing work. Amazing work. It's going to be epic. It's going to be big. It's, it's going to change. Yeah. It's going to change the yeah. face of what, what people think mm -hmm. about when they think about kingdom people. Sure. It's going to change change the game. Yeah. Um, so here's what, what, what Taj say. We are, we it's see. just good to be with these folks, it's, right? It, I love it. Caught my breath. Everybody, oh, look at that. Caught, caught my, my breath. breath. Caught, caught my breath. breath. Yeah, caught my yeah. Breath. yeah. Hashtag Rhonda. that. Rhonda hashtag, caught my breath. Hashtag um, catch my breath. Hashtag caught my breath. Yes. And, and listen, some of y'all uh, be my Facebook friends and like our, our church page too. Yes. Radiant, Radiant Church. Oh, wait. -E. Yeah. Tell me, how, how can people find you? Okay. Well, I'm on Facebook at, at Michael L. Bell. That's my personal Facebook page. You can find me. Uh, I'm, I'm frequented and I do some things on our church's page. Uh, Radiant Church DE. We're also on Instagram, and we are launching uh, within the next couple of weeks. Uh, Margie, I don't know if you're on here, but shout out to Margie. Um, we're going to be launching our uh, new website for the church. I'll be building uh, and creating and launching my new pages uh, that are my uh, that are different than my personal page um, on these uh, social media platforms. And so that's how you can find me. And I'm here at Radiant Church um, Sundays and Wednesdays. Sundays and Wednesdays. We start on time. You, they do start on time, y'all. Yeah, and let me tell you, but yeah. get here because you might not have anywhere to sit because yeah. the church is like growing. So here's what I'll do. I'll make sure And we're going to love you when you come. We're going to hold you, hug you. Yeah, they will hug you. Fist bump you. If you go back to the beginning of this shake, live video, five. you'll have all of Pastor Mike's information at the mm -hmm. beginning intro of this video. Yeah. I put all that information he just shared. It's going to be there. To join the Flow Tribe, it's mm -hmm. there. Flow 2.0 is a monthly coaching do and it. accountability community that is I'm reopening next month. And this is where I take people deeper. I, I we, we walk through these strategies it's and I'm good. holding them accountable. It's and good. I'm making sure that you can actually have some coaching and some training. And Pastor Mike don't know this yet, but he's going to probably join. He's going to come in Flow 2.0 at some point and do some teaching. I'll pay you for yeah. it. Um, <laughs> but I think some of the wisdom that he has just in life is going to help. And so Flow 2.0, join the wait list. It's open now. Mm -hmm. um, join the wait list and I'll make sure you're aware. Surround yourself with inspiration, Absolutely. friends. Man, surround yourself with. We, we're about to do something. You are about to do something. Things are big. So everybody's in different stages. But I'm telling you. And here's the thing I wanted to declare, if, if you don't mind. Go ahead, declare. Before we, there's about to be super. I heard this word earlier. And Radiant, you've heard it before. Uh, better awaits us. There's about to be some acceleration as a result, result of your trust as opposed to your work. Your trust is actually giving permission to the supernatural to get on some of your stuff and accelerate it. You're going to get some phone calls. You got to hear what I'm saying, where people are going to work with you, connect with you. You're going to get some burdens lifted off to you. Some things are going to be freed from you. Uh, some of your children are going to be returning and trying to heal. I know what that's like. Uh, relationships are going to be restored. Those things that have been estranged, all because you caught your breath and you're going to remain catching your breath. You're going to live under the flow of inspiration from our Heavenly Father. Uh, he, life was intended to be pleasurable and we're getting the right definition of pleasure 
as we catch our breath. Yes. Yeah, and we're continuing in this series Sunday. So yeah, there it'll be so part. There's another part to this series yeah. on Sunday. So if you are in the Delaware area <sighs> or you want to drive to the Delaware Glory area, make sure you join Rick yep. from the Radiant Church. Check it out um, and just catch your breath. Everybody's catch a friend. Breath. Everybody's a friend. Everybody's a friend. So I thank you, Shana, for catching your breath. Sandy, Sherry, um, Sheila, Taj, Melissa, Melissa, Brianna, um, hey Bri. Brianna, feel better. Yes, Sierra, Nene, Sierra. hey Nikki. Um, so yeah. Shouting you out, shouting you I out. I love y'all. Sandy, it's I always love, good to love, hear from love, you. I love, 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 love y'all. So thank you so much, Pastor Mike. Mike, Big Mike. I love you. Thank you for joining me. I love pleasure. you, bro. Mm. And so listen, guys, um, make sure you join the email community. You'll get your 50 seconds of flow and get a, a, some, I might do a couple of 50 seconds of flow from this this live to give you some some quick 50 seconds of how you can take this into your life every single Absolutely. day. So. Good night. Good night, everybody. Stay Rest in well. Your flow. All right. Catch your breath.